Hey, what's going on, everybody? Yep, this isn't my bike. This is a uh, Hyosong GT250R. Um, a newbie's bike, I guess you could call it. Um, I'm riding it around because it's been sitting in my garage for something like three months now. And the guy who owns it is finally going to come pick it up, so I'm trying to make sure it still works halfway decent. It's been a while since I rode it. Um, I do tech work on the side. I'm a, I'm, old, I'm a certified mechanic. I used to do that for a little while, but uh, I still do some side work. And uh, this thing needed a carb clean, like, it was like three months ago when he brought it to me. And then the dude just like sort of like ghosted me. I didn't hear from him for a long time. I thought I was gonna have to like park this thing out or something, but I finally got a hold of him. These people are gonna think I'm talking to myself. I don't care. Um, but yeah, it's like a newbie's bike. It's a, uh, I have a camera on my head. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's just a 250, it's nothing crazy. Um, the guy, like I said, the guy who brought it to me, this thing's got 1,300 miles on it, and uh, it's like an 08 or something like that, so he never rides the thing. And uh, I'm very, pretty much just trying to get it going good for him, get some heat in it, get the fuel at least that's been sitting in the bowls of the carburetor to flush through a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you actually look back on one of my old videos of the first bikes, I, there's a video of me on, it's a, a, a silver one of these, it was my brother-in-law's, and uh, I used to work for a dealership that sold these, so I know like when I used to advertise for mechanics work, I used to advertise that I, I didn't know how to work on these things amongst every other Japanese bike there is, and uh, metric bike, and that's the situation right there. <laughs> Um, the, uh, so yeah, this guy contacted me, like, like the first time I ever worked on this bike was like, I think a year and a half, two years ago. He's like, oh, you know how to work on these things? Said, yeah, he brought it to me for a car plane. And uh, then again, like I said, since he rides it so little, he had to bring it back to me for me to do it again. Um, that's any carbureted bike. <laughs> you let them sit around, don't run them. They're going to do that. Uh, God, everyone's got their windows down today. It's a beautiful day out here. Um, but yeah, pretty much you just need a car plane. It's got like crash damage. The uh, One of the mares just broke off it. It's got a little bit of damage on the side. I had to replace the shifter on it too. Damn, $80 for the shifter. It's a lot of money for the, uh, the shifter on this bike. I think it is at least. Most Japanese bikes, you can buy one for about 20 bucks or something, but uh, but yeah, if you never heard of one of these things, they're, they're actually a Korean bike. Um, what's the car doing? And uh, the company's actually been around for a really long time. I'm pulling for turn signals because turn signals are broke. Uh, they've been around for like, I think over like 30 years or something. We just never really heard of them here in America. The actual, the SV650, the very first one that was ever built, had a motor uh, built by Hyosong. And I guess they outsourced them to have them build a motor for it. And those things are stone cold reliable, so uh, it's actually not a bad bike. It's pretty good, you know. I, I wouldn't, uh, I don't imagine it's about to blow up or anything crazy, <laughs> just because it's a Korean bike, not a Japanese one. Uh, I know brand new, these bikes are about four grand. You get to use them for about two grand. Um, like I said they're, they're pretty decent, you know. Uh, Unlike a Ninja 250, these things are actually like full size, you know, they're the size of a normal crotch rocket. Um, I've ridden a number of the Ninja 250s. Those things are, uh, man, they're, my elbows will about hit my knees. I'm six foot. No, don't come after me, cop. He might, he might wait for me. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, yeah. Wait for me to go by? Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> But yeah, it's a uh, it's just a 250V twin. It's like air cooled, but it's got a really big oil cooler on it. Um, it's uh, I'm getting distracted that cop there. It's a five speed, uh, five speed with a clutch, of course. Uh, I think I'll tell you about basic. Uh, but yeah, yeah, compared to the Ninja 250, it's actually like full size. All these fairings are the same fairings that go on the 650 model, and the tank is too, so it looks just like their bigger one. 
you wouldn't really be able to tell them apart other than the frames look a little bit different from the outside. Uh, got a pretty nice gauge cluster here. Speed, this is actually a fuel gauge. It's really cool. A lot of bikes don't have that. Uh, just have a fuel light. The newer ones are starting to come out with a little more and more, but uh, most ever, they almost never had them. So, what's that cause that? He's not buying me anymore. He saw it was a 250. He's like, that guy can't even break the law. <laughs> but they're uh, they're an interesting bike. I said, yeah, the uh, again the Ninja 250. That thing, other than the looks of the new one, it's the same bike underneath that's always been from the 80s. Um, it's got a single brake on the front. This thing's actually got dual discs on the front. They look like they're at least 300 millimeters. I could be wrong, but. Um, so I know it's got pretty good brakes compared to the other one. Uh, this has got inverted forks compared with the 250's got a conventional fork, but I wouldn't let that fool you because this is a, uh, there is no adjustments on these things. This is pretty sloppy suspension. Actually, both those bikes have got pretty sloppy suspension. If you were in the market for a new bike and you were torn between the two, don't, you might as well know these suspensions, nothing to brag about on either one of them. It's doable, it works, but I mean, it's very soft. I know my brother-in-law's, when he had his, we, uh, we changed the oil out in the front, put a little bit thicker weight of oil and uh, a little bit heavier oil in it. Or the same thing, uh, like a little bit more oil than it was normally hold. And we uh, maxed out the preload on the rear. The shock on the back has got no piggyback or anything like that. It's a very, very basic shock. Again, the only adjustment being preload. Uh, as far as power is concerned, I, I bet the Ninja 250 is a little bit faster, but neither one of these bikes are gonna really impress you in the long run. Um, I wouldn't really modify one unless you could do it for less than 100 bucks like we did to my brother-in-law's. That's mainly just because of me being a mechanic. I was like, I did all the work myself for them, and uh, I know we found those parts used. You know, I think I drilled out the jets just to save money instead of actually putting jets in it. But, you know, they'll, they'll run up about 100 miles an hour, a little more. Uh, nothing, nothing crazy. So that being said, these bikes are not super powerful by any means. They're not super fast bikes, though these, these 250s are. They're just, they're just, they're good learner bikes or a better, a, uh, what is that, RC51? No, that's, uh, oh, that's like a 12 Kawasaki or something. Uh, I, I, it would be, a, it would be, a, like, better than buying, like, a big CC scooter if you were looking to buy, like, a, like, a highway scooter, you know? Like, this would look a little cooler, I think. You could, you'd get away without looking like a complete dork. You can get like a standard version of this bike that looks a little bit cooler, I think. I'll wrap it open here to see if you guys really want to get an idea of how it accelerates. Uh, we'll go in the middle lane here. This is full throttle right here. bike you really want like a 250 uh, sport bike I guess this, this, is, this is a fine bike I, I would almost consider it to be a little bit better than the Ninja 250 just on the fact that I fit on it without you know being all crammed up and it's you know neither one of them like I said are gonna have power to impress you so you know don't let like the fact that maybe this one's slightly slower than the 250 Ninja bother you um, I think it looks a lot sharper too I'll pull over right here let you see what it looks like no one's behind me Get over here away from everyone. They're uh just they're alright man, they're nothing. There you go, that's a good spot. I don't seem to be a little high now. So happens we get a little heat in it. <laughs> so I want to go right first. There it is. 
This is the rashed up side right here. Um, it actually has uh, 17s front and back. I think the new Ninja uh, 250s have 17s front and back, but they used to not. Uh, see, it's got pretty big brakes, and just out of pure laziness, it's got the same caliber on the front as it does on the back, which is such overkill for a rear brake. But, I mean, hell, at least you, overkill's better than underkill, I guess. Just be careful. If you barely touch it, this thing will lock up. Uh, Air-cooled engine. There's an oil cooler up front there. Uh, doesn't get hot, though. You know, we, we, it, Texas heat, my brother-in-law drove his 105. He drove it every day, man. And it was fine, dude. It was his daily driver. He rode it in the coldest weather and the hottest weather we have around here. Uh, the front looks pretty cool, I think. I mean, it's not bad. So I think it's a good-looking bike. And if you're really hard-pressed to have a sport bike for a first bike and you wanted a 250, I'd say this is a good option. The bikes out there nowadays and how I'm so into supermoto, I try to convince everyone to get something like a like a 250 WRX or something, Supermoto. That's actually gonna be way faster than one of these two, and it's not a bike you'll get sick of, you know. I th I, any one of these bikes you buy, it's a 250 sport bike like this, like I so said, you'll probably end up getting sick of it. So I wouldn't invest too much time and money into one of these things, or just to learn on. Or if you're this that guy who likes to commute on a uh, bike and a 250's cool with you, then go for it, you know. Like I said, it's a better alternative than like a big a big CC scooter in my opinion. You'll look a little less <laughs> retarded on this thing than a big ass scooter. But that's all I gotta say about that. Or I'm like